Hey everyone, and welcome back to the shop. Happy New Year, hope you had a good holiday. Good to get back to kind of a, a regular schedule. I'm hoping to finish up the shed project by the end of the week. That's kind of been taking a lot of my time. And today, one of the things I'm working on is extending the jams of this pre-made casing. Now, originally, the shed had canvas walls because it was a music studio and the idea was it would, it would absorb sound. So when I attached the casing to the windows, I assembled this or I made this assembly so I could fit it into place and then attach it to the framing with two screws. So I want to continue to use this, but because I've now sheetrocked the inside of the shed, I've added a half of an inch to the thickness of the wall. I need to extend the jams by half of an inch. So I'll go ahead and do that, and then we'll go into the shed and I'll show you some of the other things that I've done. To extend the jam, I've made some half by half inch molding, and I'm just gonna picture frame the back of the jam and attach the molding with a little wood glue and one inch nails. Okay, so both of these fit pretty good now. They're really good, I think. And I actually like the way they look natural, but I am going to paint them because everything else is getting painted, but maybe an idea for another small building down the road. So a few other things that got done here, and then I'll show you what else needs to get done. Maybe I'll just pick up the camera and walk around with it. The windows, of course, are now trimmed out. I do need to add a second pane and I'm probably going to cut this piece of molding by a half of an inch to give me a little bit more uh, room for the glass and the molding that will lock the glass in place. Definitely need a second pane because it was really cold here last week and when the building's hot and the glass is cold, we get a lot of condensation buildup. That being said, I'm going to have to figure out a way to add a second pane to the shed windows that's removable because these are just inexpensive shed windows and we want them to be able to function in the summertime. So some kind of a piece of molding here, maybe even a magnetic window. I'm not exactly sure how that's going to work. On the ceiling, this is half inch by seven and a quarter MDF with a chamfer on the ends to get that shiplap look. The support in the center there, that was part of the shed structure, so that is just all boxed out. Still needs a little fill and some caulking. I'll be adding some molding on that seam there. Later on today or maybe tomorrow, Probably tomorrow because I want to paint it first. I'll add the uh, the track lighting. This is going to have track lighting, and you walk in there, hit the switch to turn it on. Not exactly sure what I'm going to do with the door. I am going to keep the door handle. You can see how I've just boxed it out like this. It, this just works really good, and I didn't want to get involved with making a new door and dealing with that. So. I'll probably treat the back of the door the same way that I treated the ceiling, some kind of a, a ship lap look. And of course, I'll have to come up with some kind of a, a molding transition here between the framing and the sheetrock and maybe a back band so I can then use, uh, so that I can have the, the baseboard dead end into the trim or the casing on the door. 
And the desk that I made a few weeks ago, or months ago now, is going to go right here. The only reason why that heater is in here is because I have the mini, the mini split wrapped in plastic because I didn't want to get sheetrock dust in it. This, I just finished making uh, a frame that I uh, pocket hole screwed together and that will trim that out and make that look more finished. Okay, well it's been a few days and I've got a coat of primer and a coat of paint on both frames. We'll bring them back to the shed, put them in place and I'll show you some of the other progress I made this week. So I'm just going to put these frames in place for now. I'm not going to screw them to the, the framing because I am going to have to figure out some kind of uh, a way to have a storm window on the inside uh, because you'll definitely get condensation if you don't have a storm window. So that's just one of those little things I'll have to figure out. I did get the lighting up this week. So I've got a little track lighting up there. There's a little bit of trim work that I have to do to hide where the seam is in the center. The way I trimmed out the ceiling here is everything is an eight foot lathe. So the ship lap is what I'm calling this. And the nice thing about that was the inside of this building is just under 16 feet. And because I was putting up the siding by myself, I could put up one piece and then have a seam in the center. And the way that this worked out was the first piece I attached was the piece in the center because I knew I was going to run the track on it. And then I attached this piece right here. Then I took a measurement and seven and a quarter worked out. So it's just kind of simple math. I did have a little seam near the top and then that got covered with uh, half by one inch molding. So it's just like a nice clean look. As you can see, I've got the frame done here too. This is just pocket hole together. I haven't attached it yet, but you can see how it cleans that up. So I'll attach this with stainless steel screws. And just about finished here. I decided not to put hardwood floors in the shed yet. Um, I'll probably do that maybe in the spring, but right now I just want to get this project finished. So I'm just going to paint the floors and add a 1x4 for baseboard in the bottom and then hopefully I'll get the floors painted tomorrow and give it a day or two and then I'll bring the desk in and by the end of the week my wife will move in to her new office so it's coming along it's been a kind of a longer project but and not one that I shot a lot of video of but I did shoot sort of progress videos so Maybe in another few weeks, I'll just do a whole kind of a start to finish transformation from shed to home office. So anyway, that's what's been going on. Thanks for tuning in. And next time you see me, I'll be building a piece of furniture. If you would like my help building the furniture for your home, I hope that you'll visit my website at johnpeters.com and check out my furniture project plans. With the large variety of projects and links to the video tutorials right here on YouTube, I know that you'll find something that will inspire you to spend more time in the shop and build something beautiful for your home.